Are you planning on moving to Washington State? but you can't decide if you want to live in Western Washington or make a move to Eastern Washington? I'm going to share with you a few things about Western Washington and Eastern Washington to help you make a decision. Western Washington and Eastern Washington have some things in common, but they are very different in many aspects. Many people think we should actually have two states. Let's talk about topography. The topography is very different. Eastern Washington has a lot of desert and is more rural. It has more open space and farmland than the west side. Lots of apples and cherries and pears and peaches and hay and grapes for wine are grown in Eastern Washington. Western Washington has more of a suburban feel. It is more green, there's more evergreen trees around. There is farmland in Western Washington but not as much as there is on the east side. Statewide, there is lots of waters, rivers, and streams. On the west side, you have the Puget Sound, which is a little bit different, so you have salt water. There's Lake Washington and lots and lots of lakes. Eastern Washington has the Columbia River and many other lakes as well. Western Washington has big cities, Seattle, Tacoma, Bellevue, Everett, and the state capital of Olympia. There are many big companies and more jobs on the west side. Amazon, Starbucks, Boeing, Costco, Microsoft, many tech companies are in western Washington. Some of those big companies are moving some distribution centers over to the east side because it is less expensive. Traffic. Eastern Washington by far has less traffic. The Seattle, Tacoma area has lots of traffic. Western Washington seems to have a busier schedule. Everywhere you go is at least 20 minutes to an hour. You are always navigating busy streets or you're going from city to city to do different events. Eastern Washington has a much more laid back lifestyle, it seems. There are smaller towns and more reasonable commutes. Some people in the Seattle area commute an hour and a half each way to work. There are some bigger cities in Eastern Washington. Spokane and Yakima are some of the bigger cities. Just to give you an idea of size, Seattle's population is just over 762,000 people. Tacoma's population is around 222,000 people. Spokane, the big city in Eastern Washington, is 456,000 people. And Yakima is 261,000 or so. Weather. The weather on the western side of Washington is drizzlier, if that's even a word, and grayer than the east side, definitely. That's why it stays so green. Eastern Washington gets longer summers and warmer summers. It is a drier type of heat. Western Washingtonians like to vacation over in Eastern Washington because there's a better chance of seeing sun. There's lots of camping, boating, and hunting going on. Wine tasting is a big thing over in Eastern Washington as well. Alternatively, winters on the Eastern side of Washington are much colder than Western Washington. They are much more winter-like. Colder temperatures, more snow, and icier. It is much windier over on the East side as well, especially in the spring. You will see lots of windmills. Eastern Washington is home to numerous large state parks, Chelan State Park and Spokane has a thousand acre state park. The Cascade Mountains separate the eastern side from the western side of Washington. There you will find a popular ski resort, the Snoqualmie Summit Ski Resort. Political views are very different on both sides of Washington. Western Washington is much more liberal and Eastern Washington is much more conservative. The Seattle-Tacoma city areas are more liberal. As you get outside of the city, you will see more conservative views typically, but most of the population is in the city areas, so it tends to dominate. Western Washington and Eastern Washington are both great places to live, but they are very different from each other. It really depends on what type of lifestyle you want, what kind of weather you like, where your job will be. Put a comment below on your favorite thing about Eastern Washington or Western Washington so everyone else can learn.